You give Fawn your wallet. All right, two hundred dollars. Thank you, my sweet. I'm going to the casino right now to reserve the honeymoon suite at Caesars. Then I'll meet you at the wedding ready next to the casino. Don't be late, my love. Fawn hands you back your wallet, two hundred dollars lighter, and rushes off. Congratulations, Larry. You're one step closer to connubial bliss. Enjoy your evening, sir or madam. He's overcome with sorrow at your departure. He's not saying it in words so much, but you can really tell from his expression. Taxi! What the hell have you been eating? Rotten corpse with 40 cloves of garlic? Okay, guy, where'll it be? All right, 19 bucks. Thanks, kid. Jeez, son. Mind passing gas or something just to cover up your breath? The chapel is cool and placid inside. The lilting classical music and softly flickering candles give the room an air of serene, peaceful redundancy. In fact, it absolutely stinks of tranquility in here. Fawn is standing at the ready at the end of the room. Next to her is a man dressed like some sort of clergyman. Larry, we're all ready for you. We do have one little thing to take care of, though. It's $100 for the marriage certificate, the ceremony, and the decorations. The decorations are extra? If you're too cheap to spring for them, I'll just take them down. Larry, no decorations? No, no, leave them up. I'll... I'll take care of it. Of course you will, Larry. After all, how often does a man who isn't Larry King get married? Lord have mercy! Now I know there's a hell mouth! You've got the money! Of course I do, sweetheart. I was just... Never mind. I'll give it to him. Here you go, Jimmy Ted. One hundred dollars. Hot dog! Now we're ready to knock this thing out. Finally! You all settle into basic position. A hush follows over the players at home. Barely beloved. Sorry, let me restart that. Merely beloved. Jim! <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. You know how I get. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this main and this woman. Blah, 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 blah. Do you, Lance Lassiter, take this woman? It's Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer? I thought you said... Just go. Do you, Larry, Larry Laffer, take this woman? Blah, blah. Sickness and hell forsaken and the rest. I... I do. Do you, Fawn Forschwanger? Forschwanger? Take this man to be to be your blah, 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 honor and comfort and bail? Right. I mean, I do. You've got the ring. I have to have another ring? No, no, no. I've already got the ring. Keep this thing moving. Then by the power invested in me, Jimmy Ted hereby declares you done and done. Congratulations. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm headed down to the wine cellar. It's inventory time again. <laughs> Employees only, I'm sure y'all understand. Fawn throws her arms around you and almost kisses you. Oh, Larry, isn't it romantic? What's she talking about? Did something romantic happen here by mistake? I'll meet you at the honeymoon suite, Larry. 
ready to give you my all, my everything, my very soul. Don't keep me waiting. I can't wait to take advantage of you. She's not done with that yet? Well, congratulations, Larry. You're a married man. Time to get over to the honeymoon suite and hang a sign on the door. Gone consummatin'. Gee, son, would you mind passing gas or something just to cover up your breath? Please call your dentist and tell him he's not doing enough. The diver holds her nose and points to your mouth. Wow, Larry, your bad breath is even penetrating the aquarium walls. Is that you, Larry? Larry. It sure is, baby. Come on in. I'm ready for you. You walk into the honeymoon suite. Your blushing bride is waiting for you. Hello, Larry. You're here at last. Forgive me if I'm a little shy. I've never been with a man who meant so very, very much to me. Excellent! Larry, your breath is making it harder for me to love. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. You tweak the radio dial. There's nothing but static on this station. Cheese. We'll be back to our commercial free four hour Barbara Streisand marathon after this commercial message. I don't understand that. How many times has this happened to you? You've just gotten married, and you forgot to get the perfect bottle of wine for your honeymoon. Don't ask the hotel to send up their finest bottle of rotten, overpriced garbage. Don't settle for trashy, boxed wine they sell at the convenience store. The taxi driver will probably drink it all, and you'll end up in a fiery crash. Don't let that happen to you. Call Snappy Liquors. We deliver anywhere, anytime, in five minutes or less. How do we do it? That's what I'd like to know. Simple. We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. That doesn't answer the question. So call now, 555-8039. That's 555-8039. Liquor quick with snappy liquors. And now, back to more Barbara. Fawn turns off the radio. Thank you. Go order us some of that wine, Larry. Please? It'll make everything absolutely perfect for our, you know... Canubial joining. That's so romantic. Right away, dearest. Hey, how come you're all just drive? All right, nineteen bucks. Thanks, kid.
You pick up the phone, and to your delight, you get a dial tone. This thing must be set to free play. Hello, Snappy Liquor Delivery. We deliver liquor in a snapper. Yes, I just heard your ad on the radio, and I'd like to purchase some fine wine. Where do you want it delivered? The Honeymoon Suite at Caesar's Palace, please. And step on it. All of our fine wines have been stepped on, sir. That's why they're fine. Oh, very sophisticated. And your order has been processed. We'll send one of our hottest young men immediately. Thanks for calling. What did he mean, hottest? Taxi! You again? Oh, Sal and Dispatch must be playing a nasty trick on me. Lucky 21, pal. Thanks, kid. Come on in. I'm ready for you. Oh, Larry, it's you. I thought it was that cute young delivery boy again. Hmm, what does she mean by that? Oh, well, you decide to let it pass. After all, this is your wedding night. For you. Enchanté. Here's to us. Here's to you, Larry. <sighs> all right, Larry. The stars have aligned. Love is all around. Life's sweetest reward. The sun is gonna surely shine. Now use those three words every young woman in love longs to hear. How about now? Yes, Larry. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Goody! Are you relaxed, my love? Yes! Are you ready for me? Yes! Oh, yes! Then, let's get ready to rumble! What happened? <sighs> That was great for me. How was it for you? Uh, is that it? That's it. Thanks for everything, Lance. It's Larry. Thanks for the ring, the candy, the money, the this, the that, the contents of your wallet. You did forget to pay me for the wine. Oh. I left you a few bucks. I'm not totally heartless. Just mostly. And thanks for the wine and, oops, <laughs> you got me monologuing. See you later, sucker. Fawn, sweetheart? A lesser man would be torn to shreds by this turn of events. But not you, Larry. You've got optimism. You've got resilience. You've got to find a way out of here. Very clever, Larry. You managed to work your knife out of your pants and use it to slice the bungees until... Well done, Larry. You're free. You quickly dress. Now you're feeling ready to go back out and conquer the world. Again. The cheap knife broke in the process, so you dispose of it as any responsible gamer would do.
You dispose of the cord you cut through and save the other three for some sort of demented shenanigans. The key fits in the lock. You turn the bolt and the door easily opens. See how that works there? You walk through a maze of twisty little passages, all alike, until finally you walk through an archway and into... Holy guacamole! With the humidity at about 150%, your leisure suit immediately wilts sadly. A feeling not wholly unfamiliar to you. Au contraire, Pierre. The humidity will make my suit cling to my body and show off my physique. She stands before you, totally unself-conscious of her near nakedness. That's encouraging. Yes. Who are you? What are you doing here? And how did you get in? This is a restricted area. Me? I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer, I found a key that fits this door. That's kind of what I do. Well, points for boldness then, Mr. Laffer. Call me Larry. Okay, Larry. I'm Jasmine. So what do you do here? I work here. I ride Mr. Wiggles bareback. Mr. Wiggles is a very, very lucky man. Mr. Wiggles is my whale. Don't act like you didn't know that. I'm just trying to be charming. Maybe it's working. So Jasmine, tell me, how does one get a gig doing nothing but whaleback riding? Oh, I do much more than that. Riding Mr. Wiggles is just the fun part. I also get to feed him and clean up after him when he gets sick and carefully cleanse his blowhole. Really? That's funny. I've got a... Don't go down that path, Larry. You'll blow it. Ah, uh, I mean, I've got a feeling. A feeling that that's a terrible job. Why don't you quit? What? And <laughs> give up show business? Gee, Jasmine. For a girl who's around fish all day, you sure do smell good. Oh? Well, thank you. It is difficult to stay fresh. Your perfume is fantastic. Thanks, Larry. I guess you could say that I'm somewhat of a perfume connoisseur. Larry, a connoisseur is one who understands the details, techniques, and principles of an art, and is competent to act as a critical judge. I actually knew that. Gee, Jasmine. Oh? Your perfume. Thank you. Gee. Oh? Your Thank you. I actually knew that. So, you understand the details, techniques, and principles of perfume and are competent to act as a critical judge? Exactly. Gosh, Larry, it's like you know me. Inside and out. Inside? Wow. Just wow. Perfume's my passion. I have, like, literally a thousand perfumes. Some of them are really, really, really expensive. I don't think there's one I don't have. Do you always wear perfume? Oh, yes. A lot of the time, that's all I wear. Oh, my God! Oh, my happy, happy God! Well, then, I guess it's safe to assume you don't need more perfume. Are you kidding? I'm dying for something new. Something fresh. Something original. But at this point, I don't think there's a man on Earth who could come up with that. 
There's your cue, Larry. But where are you going to find a unique perfume that she's never smelled before? It's great to meet you, Jasmine. I'll be back in a flash with something you're going to love. No need to hurry, Larry. I'm about to go on break, but I really hope I see you later. You walk through a little maze of twisty passages, all alike until you find your way back to civilization. You turn the bolt with the key and enter the aquarium. There's nobody here. Jasmine must have gone on break. You never know when a recently deceased squid will come in handy. Carefully, you tip the hot sauce bottle into Mr. Wiggle's blowhole and pour out the entire contents. Bubbles rise to the top of the sauce as it slowly glugs down into the whale's inner recesses. Don't try this at home. Easy there, big fella. He can't take any more. He's gonna blow! <laughs> Deep within the aquarium, the overspiced whale gives a mighty heave. Something floats to the surface of the aquarium. Mr. Wiggles swims away, snorking constantly. You kneel and scoop the water towards yourself until the amber grease is within reach. It's gooey and revolting, and you stick it in your pocket without a second thought. You're not really capable of second thoughts. Where am I? All right. Thanks, kid. Hello? What'll it be? I want to do some serious damage. Give me a vodka. That'll be five dollars, please. You flip five bucks onto the counter. 
You don't drink the vodka. Instead, you carry it around in the shot glass, because you simply never know when you'll need a shot of vodka. You rap loudly on the Nagahai door. Yeah? What's the password? You read off the strange password you discovered in the John. Uh, Ken sent me? Come on in. You strip off your jacket. You strip off the rest of your clothes. You carefully guide the condom onto your tumescent little Larry. Smart man, now get Kraken. You hop into bed with the hooker. Although successful, you feel less than satisfied. Technically speaking, you're no longer a virgin, but for some reason the thrill just wasn't there. You vow to continue your quest until you please your heart, not just your other organs. You carefully remove the condom and dispose of it in the pile of other used condoms. Smart thinking, Larry. You just saved yourself a lot of public embarrassment. You put all your clothes back on. You attach the bungee cord securely to the fire escape. You hook the other end of the bungee cord to your belt loop. I'm feeling good about this. With the bungee attached, you hurl yourself off the fire escape. Gotcha! Ta-da! And the judges give it a ten. You accidentally lost the hammer in the window, but that's okay. You won't need it anymore. You got the pills. You unhook yourself from the bungee cords and dispose of them in the dumpster below. You won't need them anymore either. Trying your luck again, Larry? Yeah. But this time you come up empty-handed. What the hell have you been eating? Rotten co- That leisure stone ask. Seventeen bucks, pal. Thanks, kid. <laughs> 